In today's video we're going to look at the largest gas field on the planet, which is of course Northfield. Northfield or North Dome it's sometimes known is offshore Qatar and it's known as South Pars in Iran. So if we look on the map here we can see the location of Northfield and it's in the Persian Gulf between Qatar and Iran. In uh, close up, you can see that the field actually starts on shore, goes right across the offshore Qatar region, uh, up to the median line, the international boundary uh, with Iran, and uh, you can see the extension to the northwest is called South Pars in Iran. Now, within here, we can also see the Shaheen oil field and the Al Rayyan. So there are a number of, uh, of oil fields, actually they are above the, the main gas field, and we'll look at that in just a minute. So some facts and figures. Northfield was discovered in 1971 by Shell. 20 years later, it came on production. South Pars was uh, discovered by the National Iranian Oil Corporation back in 1990, and just over a decade later, it uh, achieved first gas. Now, the areas are absolutely enormous, but more impressively, the uh, the reserves, the total gas reserves, are um, around about 1,300 TCF. The total condensate reserves are quoted as 19 billion barrels. Huge. It's the largest non-associated gas field on Earth. South Pars was developed, as was uh, Northfield, as a phase development, and in the case of South Pars, up to 30 stages. Now, each of these stages might cost billions to uh, actually to complete. Looking at the geological setting, uh, we start over in the east in the Zagros Foal Belt. It's really a thrust belt, and you can see complex geology over there in central Iran. But as we move across to the uh, to the west, we can see uh, Iran through Qatar and out to Saudi Arabia. Now, in the case of Northfield, which is located here, it's actually reservoired within the uh, the Triassic and Permian Kuf Formation. That's the Arabic name. Garwa, we recently did a, a video, and you can find it on our channel. Uh, that's the largest oil field on the planet, and it's located in the uh, Jurassic uh, Arab Carbonates here in Saudi Arabia. Looking at the geology a little more closely, we mentioned the, uh, the shallow oil fields, and uh, they're up in the uh, Cretaceous and Jurassic sections, the, the, the biggest of which is Shaheen. And you can see here some of the platforms in that complex. Now, there are 33 platforms and over 300 wells. At its peak, I think uh, it produced in excess of 330,000 barrels of oil per day. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about the lower section. And here you can see that uh, in Iranian nomenclature, it's the Kangan and Upper Darlan uh, formations, collectively known as the Kuf. And uh, this is a cross-section of the field here. And we can see that uh, it's subdivided into the four sections, the K1 through K4. The lithologies are mainly dolomites and limestones with some recrystallized limestone and some replacive dolomite, dolomite even. Um, the, uh, the, the, the rocks under the, uh, the Dunham classification would be uh, mudstones, grainstones and packstones. But within, the, uh, within this very thick reservoir sequence, we have these impermeable barriers, which are consist of uh, evaporites. So they make very, very good vertical barriers within the reservoir. Now, this is a sort of a typical characterization, and the porosity permeability and the reservoir quality indicator. If we, if we actually concentrate on the permeability log, I've highlighted the, the one Miller Darcy, and you can see much of this reservoir interval is actually really quite tight, really low permeability. And there's only just um, a few bands here, you can see within the K2 and K4, where we get up to uh, Darcy permeability. Now, the impermeable evaporites uh, that, that mark the boundaries of the different subdivisions, they are made of these impermeable and, and laterally extensive evaporite layers. So this causes a, a very low KV-KH ratio, and that's um, KV is vertical permeability and KH is horizontal permeability. So it basically means that very uh, little chance for, for either gas or water, for that matter, to, to actually uh, encroach and, and, and move up the uh, the reservoir sequence. Now, overall, we do have natural fracturing here, and uh, that does enhance the effective permeability that we find 
uh, in the north field. There's some numbers, I won't dwell on those, but in places uh, it's referred to as having about 20% of the world's gas reserves. If we look at um, Northfield here in turquoise at the top, uh, you can see the size uh, quoted in here. And these are the other 19 fields in the top 20 gas fields worldwide. Now, if we add all of these together, you can see that they just about exceed the size of, of Northfield. So Northfield is almost the same size as all the other 19 put together. That's how enormous it is. Now, looking at the infrastructure, here on the uh, top left is some of the infrastructure for Northfield on the Qatar side and underneath um, some platforms from the South Pars development. And you can see that the the platforms here in, in Northfield uh, come down to Ras Lafen where there are uh, some terminals and, and LNG uh, plants. Very complex own ownership in there, but um, one of the biggest in the world, if not the biggest in the world. And on the South Pass side, again, pipelines taking it back onshore where there is also a, an LNG, uh, an LPG terminal. That's the uh, the two companies that operate in the region. Well, on the Qatar side, it's Qatar Petroleum, and on the Iranian side, it's NIOC. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Um, please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more material like this. There's our contact details. Take care. See you back at our site soon. Bye for now.